again, Jeremy Leahy, car number 20, down on the inside of row number two. Kyle Bates in car number 74. Donnie Austin, the 34, he'll be on the outside of row number three. John Langton, down on the inside of row number four, car number 35. He'd like to get back to victory lane. Elijah Keeper, car number 81. Gary Krebs, multi-time champion here at Springfield Raceway. He'll start on the inside row about mid-pack in that 26 car. J.C. Newell, car number 83, looked really good earlier in the night. Steve Worf in car number 42. Chad Donaldson in the 22 machine. Jeremy Hazel in the 15. Jack Mode in car number 11 starts deep in the field. 10E car, that'll be Jeremy Short. He also starts deep in the field tonight. Several cars with a long way to go before we get to the end of this one. Jonathan Dean, car number seven. And it looks like Ken Walker, a little bit of a late show tonight. Not able to make the heat races with us, but Ken Walker, car number 51, driving the Youngblood Auto Group number 51 machine. We'll start shotgun on the field. Keep your eye on him. Car number 12 back there, that's Greg Borden, as he will also start deep in this field. So Carl Berg and Treadway will be up on the front row. Jeremy Leahy driving the Rick's Tire Shop number 20 car. Got a good starting position on the inside of row number two. And that car's been pretty strong. Had a pretty nice heat race earlier tonight. He'll have a good starting position on the inside of row number two. Tim Mullins on the outside of row number two. Car number 16, as we mentioned, picked up the heat race win a little bit earlier tonight. Casey General Store is the official sponsor of the Midwest Modified. Casey General Store celebrating 50 years in business in 2018. Big thank you to Casey General Store for all they do for us and all they do for you as just not a convenience store, but a convenience store and a whole lot more. If you have a chance to go down and get a Casey's Pizza, you won't find anything any better. And also their sub sandwiches are out of this world. Check them out, Casey General Store. Always clean, always a good price. Casey General Store, if you don't have one near you now, you will soon. And go check them out. Also want to thank Green Lawn Funeral Homes for their support of racing here at the Springfield Raceway. Jake Deemer, of course, was a former racer here at Springfield Raceway. And a Green Lawn Funeral Homes, a great partner. Wildcat Rentals in Rogersville as well. We appreciate all that they do for us. And also Missouri One Call. If you're getting ready to dig, you got to make that call. Call 811 Missouri One Call. As we get set to go racing here right away, off turn number four, green in the air. Sean Carlberg takes him down into turn number one. Leahy Le Le already on the charge, looking down to the lower lane. Sean Carlberg shuts the door, so he'll have to back off just a little bit. Carlberg leads lap number one, and here comes Austin Treadway working up on the top side. They're still two by two, 10 rows deep. Up front, it's Tim Mullins giving a little boot to that number six car. Almost got him sideways. He collects it, falls back into the line. Donnie Ost on the move in car number 34. Kyle Bates using that low line just outside the top five in the 74 machine, and we got a three wide battle. Coming off turn number four for the lead. Tim Mullins using that top side, not able to get a run. Opens the door for Donnie Ost as he goes three wide through the center. What a battle up front and caution, caution on the speedway, caution coming out. Well, caution comes out early here. We got a couple of cars going around. J.C. Newell, one of those cars. And also the 15 machine back deep in the field going around. And that's Jeremy Hazel going around in the 15 car, so that'll bring out the caution. How about that battle early on? Up at the front of the field, Sean Carlberg, Austin Treadway, Jeremy Leahy all doing battle. Tim Mullins involved in that battle along with Donnie Ost. 
I hate to see the caution flag come out. They'll regroup, refire. All right, getting them lined up, getting them ready to go. As that field up front was really battling for position. Also some great battles back throughout the field. John Langton sits in the, I believe, the number seven position right now. Elijah Keeper, eighth. Gary Krebs, ninth. And Dwight Niehoff made a nice run up through the field, rounding out your top ten. Driver out of Lockwood, Missouri. And got a one car. We're trying to get back to the right position. We'll get that done shortly, and we'll be back under the green flag. Well, we got a quiet moment. We'll also thank the good folks at Bad Boy Mowers. If you're looking for a zero-turn mower, Bad Boy Mowers is the place to go. You won't find any better, any tougher. Get her done quick, get her done right. Bad Boy Mowers, an official sponsor here at the Springfield Raceway and one of our great partners over the years. All right, just about ready to go back under the green flag. Well, Sean Carlberg in a good position right now, out in front. He's got a whole bunch of hard chargers right behind him. It's going to be a good battle when we get back under the green flag. And that Jeremy Leahy, I tell you what, that uh, driver really doing good. I believe this is uh, his first year out in that 20 car. And I know Gary Krebs helps him out with that machine. I think Tim Mullins may be also involved on that machine as well, but uh, they do a great job, and, and Jeremy's putting it up there at the front of the field, and it's one of those cars I think you'll find in victory lane before this season's over. All right, once again, want to get the field just like it should be. We go back to the last completed lap. And so that's what we're trying to do right now, go back to the last completed lap, get everybody in their position before we turn them back under the green flag. Right now getting the field doubled up. They'll go green next time by. Off turn number four, not gonna go green on that one. Car number 83, got a long way to go. He made a big move right there at the end of the race to pick up the heat race win a little bit earlier tonight. Coming off turn number four, Keith Pratt says, let's go back to racing. Here they come off turn number four, down to the green flag. 
Sean Carlberg goes to the top side of the speedway. Now the 20 car, Jeremy Leahy down on the bottom. They'll go side by side into turns three and four. Kyle Bates, Tim Mullen side by side in this third position. Off turn number four, Sean Carlberg still your leader. Three wide off turn number two, Kyle Bates in the middle of that sandwich. Tim Mullins up on the top side of the speedway, Elijah Keeper down on the bottom. Still battling three wide throughout the field. Gary Krebs still deep in this field, trying to move his way forward. Sean Carlberg into control right now. Here comes the 16 of Mullins up on the top side. Donnie Ost also using that top line around the speedway, trying to get a run on Kyle Bates. That'll be the battle for about the fifth spot. Up front, we got a side-by-side -side battle. Tim Mullins out in front, trying to make it work. Coming off turn number four, Mullins pulls up alongside. Mullins like in the top side. Here comes Elijah Keeper to make it a three-wide battle. Down the back stretch, they'll go three wide. Sean Carlberg on the inside of that sandwich. Here they come off turn number four. Elijah Keeper's got a good run. Mullins has got a good run. And Timothy Mullins out in front. Picked up the heat race win earlier tonight. He's trying to double it up. And Elijah Keeper not having any of it. They go side by side through turns three and four. Coming down to the start finish line. Give the lead to Elijah Keeper by half a car lane. Still three wide, two deep. Oh, we got a spinner off turn number two. And caution coming out. Jeremy Leahy going around in that 20 machine. And a tough break for that hard charger. He was up in the money making it happen and just got in a little deep off turn number two and goes around and that puts us under the caution flag. Tough break for that young man. Wow, what a battle up front. Tim Mullins had the lead for one lap and Elijah Keeper forcing the issue down in turns three and four. Had that low line working and he'll move out in front. Donnie Oss made a nice run towards the front. He right now holds that third position. Kyle Bates in fourth. And Sean Carlberg, who led several laps early on in this race all the way back to fifth right now. All right, trying to get the field lined up right now to go back under the green flag. Dwight Niehoff mentioned him a little bit earlier, still doing a nice job out there, continues to move his way forward. I believe right now, just outside that top five and so he's having a nice run, driver out of Lockwood, Missouri. Gary Krebs just behind him in position number seven, Langton eighth, and Scott Campbell running in ninth. Scott picking up the win last Saturday night, and actually that's Sunday night as we ran on the Sunday night show. Steve Worf back in car number 42, just inside the top 10. Austin Treadway lost a lot of ground after being out front in that big battle early on. Outside the top 10, running about the 11th position right now. And just about got this field set to go and we'll get ready to go back into the green flag here shortly. All right, Tim Mullins gets the choice of lane and he takes the bottom lane. So that means Sean Carlberg will go to the top side of the racetrack. Donnie also go down to the bottom and that's how they'll stack up all the way back through the field. Getting forward, getting ready rather for the restart in a half a lap. And looks like we're gonna go around uh, maybe one more time. All right, field is set. Keep an eye on them as they get ready to go back under the green flag. 
Some comers and goers. Some of the people that started up on the front kind of moving back through the field. And some of those guys back deep in the field when this race started moving their way towards the front. Ken Walker so far only able to put about six cars behind him. We'll keep an eye on the Youngblood Auto Group number 51. See if he can move that car forward before this race is over. Been a lot of traffic back there. Hard going back in this field. Elijah Keeper will bring him into the start-finish line. Nice and slow. Looking for his first win of the year in car number 81. He'll take the green flag, and we're back under the racing. Things settling down just a little bit up front, but doesn't take long before they go three wide once again. Scott Campbell, one of those cars on the move, working up on the top side of the speedway. Gary Krebs mired back in traffic, trying to make the low line work around the speedway. Out in front, though, it's Elijah Keeper holding serve, giving six car lengths on Tim Mullins. Donnie Austin in that third position, and Dwight Niehoff sneaking into that top five. Right now runs in the fourth position in car number nine. Digging deep down on the bottom of the speedway. Move that nine car up into the third position. Dwight Niehoff moving forward quickly. He may run out of time as this race is getting down towards the end, but a nice run forward as we're four wide off turn number four and a couple of cars getting together. John Langton and Steve Worf getting together, both cars with damage. Langton to the inside, out of harm's way. We stay green. Worf also damaged going off the track as the white flag comes out for Elijah Keeper. Tim Mullins trying to chase him down, not gonna be able to do it. Niehoff still running in that number three spot. Bates and Oss side by side for fourth, but it's Elijah Keeper picking up the win. Tim Mullins second, Dwight Niehoff third, Kyle Bates fourth, Donnie Ost rounding out your top five. Scott Campbell making a nice run towards the end just outside the top five. So Elijah Keeper picking up the win. Nice run for the 81 machine. Tough break for John Langton. Right there, we're just coming to the two to go. Got together with the Steve Worf machine and both cars damaged, unable to finish. Nice night for Tim Mullins, picked up the heat race win earlier. Finishing runner up in the A main. I know he wanted one more better than that, but still a nice run for him. Elijah Keeper bringing it in to victory lane. He'll climb out of the car as the mini late models take to the racetrack. And climbing out of the car, there he is folks. Put your hands together, Elijah Keeper in victory lane in the Casey General Store Midwest Modified. Nice race right there. All right, the Mini Late Models out on the racetrack right now. We've got four sofas and a Westbrook. These little rascals get around the racetrack in a hurry. Keep your eye on them, it goes quick. Five cars set to go. And they're coming off turn number four. It'll be a 12-lap main event for these mini late models. And here we go, green.